Hey everybody, welcome to today's Fitness Fridays. Uh, my name is Annie Long and I am the Associate Director of Community Programs here at the Parkinson's Foundation. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to today's live fitness class. I'm gonna make a, a couple of announcements and then we're gonna get started. Um, today's featured presenters are Dr. Madeline Hackney and Dr. Trisha Creel from MDT Education Solutions. So excited to have them with us today. Um, if you have not already, please feel free to grab some holiday attire. It's not mandatory, but certainly encouraged. Uh, they've also asked that if you have a pull handy, it can be an umbrella, it can be, um, yep, yeah, thank you, Tricia. <laughs> um, any kind of a pole or cane handy, that would be great. Um, but again, it's not, not necessary, um, but please do grab a chair, a bottle of water, and get ready to work out with us. Uh, in order to see Madeline and Tricia front and center on your screen, please just be sure that you select speaker view in the top right hand corner of your zoom viewing pane. Uh, that way they will be big on your screen and you'll have no problem seeing them in action. Uh, so now without further ado, it is one o'clock so we're going to go ahead and get started with today's program. Um, Thank you again for being here. Uh, please check out the slide that we have up on screen just for some last minute reminders. Again, select speaker view if you have not already done so. And please feel free to join us on camera today. Um, you will all stay on mute just so that we can hear Madeline and Tricia, but we encourage you to turn your camera on so we can see you enjoying our holiday themed workout. Um, make sure again, select speaker view, you'll be on mute. Um, now we are going to watch a quick video from Lisa Hoffman, who's our Director of Professional Education. And Lisa is going to share with you a little more about our newly released Parkinson's exercise recommendations. So let's hear it from Lisa. This season, Fitness Fridays will be utilizing the newly released Parkinson's exercise recommendations created in collaboration with the American College of Sports Medicine. These recommendations provide guidance to help people with Parkinson maintain or improve their health through physical activity. These guidelines were developed and reviewed by a panel of exercise and Parkinson's experts and include recommended frequency, intensity, time, type, and in addition, to volume and progression of exercises that are safe and effective for people with Parkinson's. These recommendations are created across four domains, aerobic activity, strength training, balance agility and multitasking, and stretching. Each Friday, you will be guided through an exercise routine that highlights one or more of the domains of exercise. Oh, but typically exercise does not fit perfectly in a specific column. Rather, they are complex activities that cross over from column to column. In addition to regular exercise, the Parkinson's Foundation encourages you to see a physical therapist specializing in Parkinson's for full functional evaluation and exercise recommendations. And remember, safety first. We encourage you to exercise during on periods if you're taking medication and to have someone with you if needed. Lastly, it's important to modify and progress your exercise routine over time. Participating in Fitness Fridays is one way that you can reach your weekly goal of 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise per week. For more information, visit parkinson.org forward slash exercise. From there, you can also check out the Parkinson's exercise recommendations, which are now available in various languages, including Spanish, French, and German. Enjoy your exercise class today, and rest assured, you will be led by skilled and competent exercise professionals who have specifically designed their class to meet your unique needs. Have fun and go for it. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for those uh, helpful reminders. So it's now my pleasure to introduce today's featured presenters, Dr. Madeline Hackney and Dr. Tricia Creel, co-founders of MDT Education Solutions. 
Uh, MDT Education Solutions is a Parkinson's Foundation accredited exercise continuing education course. Uh, they offer courses that equip health and fitness professionals to lead community-based exercise programs that help people with Parkinson's access safe and tailored exercise programs. So thank you so much to Trisha and Madeline for being here today. Look forward to seeing you in action. And without further ado, please take it away. Hi, everyone. I am Dr. Madeline Hackney of MDT Education Solutions. I'm also a, an associate professor of medicine at Emory University School of Medicine and a research health scientist with, scientist with the Atlanta VA. And I'm so excited to work out with you all today. We have a very, very special um, event planned. And of course, my partner is Dr. Trisha Creel, and you can see her in one of these uh, yeah. these squares, rectangles. <laughs> so first of all, we, we have a great, great uh, program for you today. Our class today has a Festivus theme, a holiday originally created in the 1960s by television author Daniel O'Keefe as an alternative to the pressures of the Christmas season. You may remember that Festivus became part of popular culture after it was featured on a 1997 Seinfeld episode. In our class today, we are going to focus on four parts of the Festivus celebration, feats of strength, no explanation needed about what we'll do there, the airing of grievances where we will sweat out all our grievances with some aerobic training. Next, we will use an unadorned aluminum Festivus pole. You can use a cane, broomstick, whatever you like, even the back of the chair if you need more support for balance to perform exercises that challenge our balance. Finally, we will perform Festivus miracles in the form of amazing coordination exercises. Each section will last about seven minutes or so, and then we will finish with a cool down. We recommend having a water bottle and a chair nearby in addition to your Festivus pole. Okay, are you all ready to get going? All right, let's get going. We'll do a great warm up right now. I have a chair at ready, but we're, I'm going to start on, on my feet, okay? So here we go. First of all, let's warm up the neck area. So we're going to go chin into chest and look up, chest and look up. Good. Now look right and left. Make sure you're standing with two feet in the ground, nice and grounded. Good, now ear to shoulder. Just side and side. Good, and then roll that head from one side to the other. Good, and now roll the shoulders up and down and up and down. Up and down and up and down. Now bring them forward, lift, squeeze in the back and forward, lift, squeeze in the back. And now roll, roll, roll and roll. Good. And then bring them back, lift and forward and back, lift and forward and then roll and roll and roll and roll good and now i just want you to just rock from side to side rock from side to side good looking good all right reach 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 and reach excellent now march a little closer, just underneath you. And we're gonna put in just a little bit of heat into our hips and our back and everything in our arms. And I just want you to go for a tiniest of jog, the tiniest of jog, just a little jog, just like this. Just a little jog, just like this. That's it, just to get a little warmth into your body. Good, just do it for 10, 15 seconds. Just to get some warmth, just to start. Your feet are barely coming off the floor. Just a little rock between the toes. Good. And now I want you to reach forward with one side, one arm, one leg, and then bring it together. And reach forward, way, way, big, big step. 
and then bring it together. Reach forward, way out to me, and together. Let's make some magic. Reach, and together, and reach, and together, and reach, and together. Nice big step, reach towards the camera, and reach. Very good, and reach, good. Now feet wide apart again, hands behind the head, just like this, and bring knee, uh, elbow towards the side, and lift, and two, nice little stretch, and three, stand up tall, and four, stand up tall, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. One more exercise. Hands out to the side. We get a little twist, but not a complete twist. I want your palms facing straight up towards the ceiling. And you're going to just go to here and then to there, just to the corners, corner of the room, and two. And lift and add a little tiny knee bend. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, hand behind the elbow, uh, elbow, head behind the head. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, can add a little knee bend, eight and nine and 10, arms out. One and two, can add a little knee bend, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. One more set, and then I'm passing it off to Trisha. Here we go, hands behind the head, elbows out, stretch through that chest. We have one, and add a bend, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, arms fold out, palms way up. We have one, add a bend, knee bend, two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10. Good, shake it all out and it's off to Trisha. All right, our first section is feats of strength. We're only going to be doing two exercises in here, um, but they're both really functional. And we're going to play a little bit with the, um, the speed of our movements. And we're also going to throw in some static holds just to get our muscles working um, in different ways, which is how we move through life. So we might as well um, strengthen in function, which is my favorite thing. All right. So our first exercise is squats. So I want everybody to get feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out so that when you squat, your knees are tracking out and not collapsing in. And when you do your squat, think about sitting backwards so the weight goes in your heels, not letting your knees come forward over your toes. All right, we've got 30 squats total but we're gonna break them up in sets of 10. So our first set of 10, we're gonna go down for a count of three, up for a count of three. All right, everybody in a good squat position, we're going slow down and slow up. And here we go. We're going down two, three, up two, three. That's one, down two, three, up two, three, that's two down, two, three, up, two, three, good, try not to beat me, down, two, three, up, two, three, already halfway there, down, two, three, up, two, three, that's six, down, two, three, up, two, three, already at seven, down, two, three, up, two, three, that's eight, down, two, three, up, two, three, that's nine, last one, down, two, three, up, two, three, that's 10, first set, check, done, little tiny break, second set of 10, we're going to go down slow, and then we're going to pop up with some speed and power, 
just like we stand up from a chair. So we're practicing the way we move in real life. All right, you guys ready? No rest, rest for the weary. Back at it again. Let's go. We're going down two, three, and then up fast. Good. Down two, three. Up fast. That's two. Down two, three. Up fast. That's three. Down two, three. Up fast. Four. Down two, three. Up fast. We're already halfway done. Down two, three. Up fast. Good. Down two, three. That's seven. Down two, three. That's eight. Down two, three. That's nine. One more, you guys. Down two, three. That's 10. Woo! 20. Check done. We've got one more set of 10 squats. This time, we're going down quick and up quick. So again, playing with that speed of movement. All right, you guys, this is Feats of Strength. We got this. You ready? Last set of 10. Here we go. We're going down quick, up quick. That was one. Down quick, up quick. Two. Down quick, up quick. Three. Down quick, up quick. Four. Down quick, up quick. Five. Down quick, up quick. Six. Down quick. Up quick seven, down quick, up quick eight, down quick, up quick nine, finish strong, down quick, up quick ten. Feats of strength. I love it. You guys were amazing. Well done. Well done. Okay. Good strong legs. Check done. Let's work now on our arms, shoulders, and those muscles that help us stand up tall. So those small muscles in the back of our shoulders, those are endurance muscles. So we're gonna practice again, the way we use them in real life. So we're gonna be doing three minutes, I know it's horrible, of backwards arm circles. We're gonna start out with small arm circles, go to medium and then finish with big, which you'll appreciate that when you get there. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get my stopwatch started because it's gotta be official. All right, everybody standing up tall, three minutes of postural work. Join in whenever you're ready. Now remember, this is, we're strengthening and function here. We're working on posture and strength. We're getting a two for one, which I always love. So stand up with your best possible posture of the day. This is your three minutes of glory um, as far as posture is concerned. And three minutes is a long time. I'm aware of that. It's a feat of strength. So if you need to drop those arms, give yourself a little bit of a break and then join back in, that is totally fine. And I have some great news. We are already 40 seconds into our small arm circles. Thank goodness. So if you guys can hang with me for 10 more seconds, we're gonna be switching to medium arm circles, which is actually a little bit easier. You get to drop those arms down a little bit. All right, you guys ready to switch to medium circles in three, two, and one. Medium arm circles. Woo. On a scale of zero, it's horrible. Again, this is horrible, but you know what? It's feats of strength, feats of strength. Strengthening and function. We're gonna be better, taller, stronger after this. Go at your own pace. You can go at um, in a range of motion that's comfortable for you. Um, are you saying mean things about me under your breath? You, you probably should be, but hey, I got good news. We're already 90 seconds into our three minutes. And trust me, those big arm circles are going to be a break. So if you can hang with me for 15 more seconds, 15 more seconds, that's it. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go big. Woo, nice big backwards arm circles. So now we're really getting, strengthening those muscles that help us stand up tall, but also working on some good active range of motion. So those muscles are still working. I can feel it. I know you can still feel them working. It's still a feat of strength. 
see now, since we're going big, if you can really reach behind you um, within, within that range that's comfortable and safe for you, but this is your chance to really get some good active shoulder extension. And we've only got 30 more seconds. And then you are done with your feats of strength. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for hanging in there. I know this has been tough, but it's been worth it. All right, you guys, we're counting down last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice job, you guys. Check done with feats of strength. And I'm going to turn it back over to Madeline. Wow, I felt that. My <laughs> God. <laughs> that was amazing. Y'all are great. Okay, we're going to do some airing of grievances now. So we're going to do some punching and kicking and possibly some stomping. So get ready. All right, here we go. I know boxing's real popular among this community. So we're going to do a little jabbing. So I want you to do two jabs, two jabs, two jabs, two jabs, right at the camera. Then you're going to do hook, 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 and hook. Then we're going to do uppercut. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do kickbacks, kick the butt. One, two, three, and four, okay? With high rows, just like this, high rows. All right, so we have jab, jab, and jab, jab, and jab, 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 hook, and two, four hooks, three, and four, uppercut, one, four uppercuts, two, three, and four, four kickbacks, and two, and three, and four. Okay, let's try it a couple more times. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Jab, 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 jab. And a hook. Uppercut, whoa. Kickbacks, high rows. Again, here we go. Jab, 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 jab. We have hook. And hook. We have uppercut. Two, three. High rows. Two, three. Here we go. Jab, 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 and jab, jab. And hook, and hook, hook, hook. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. And hook. One more time. Jab, jab, and jab, jab. And hook, 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 uppercut, 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 uppercut. Pull it back, two and three and four. Awesome, that was amazing, everyone. Good job. Let's try one a little bit more. You're gonna punch the person, and well, not the person, but punch the camera, and then get the guy on the side. Same arm as leg, okay? to the camera, and then the person to your side. Okay, here we go. One, and two, and one, two. One, and two, one. Now add a little bit of a lift, a little tiny hop. And three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. Now just on the floor, one, and two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add a hop, little hop, little hop, little hop. Kicking that foot up. Other side. All right, so camera, and then that person over there. Boom. You got to take two on at once. Two on at once. One and two. One and two. The other per other guy. Get the other guy. <laughs> Good, now add a little hop. Kick that heel up. Good. Good, now nice and grounded. Grounded and grounded. Add 
and a hop. Little hop, barely coming off the ground. Nice work, good job. Okay, let's practice our kick. You need the chair for this, but it's likely if you don't need it, that's fine. But you're gonna put your chair like so, and we're gonna be in a ready position. Put your, arm, your foot, one foot back, one foot forward, arm out. And you're going to lift the knee and get a nice good kick. At the same time, pull this elbow back and reach. Here we go, one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! Other side. Here we go. Get ready. Ready position. Bring the knee in and extend. Make sure to extend that heel. Boom. Make your contact. Here we go. One and two and three and four, five, little kick, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yay, good job, everyone. Woohoo! Back to Trisha. All right, you guys, awesome job on that area of grievances, sweating out um, all of the grievances for the year. So we're gonna change um, and now to using our Festivus pole. I have an umbrella, but um, you can use anything, even the back of a chair, if you need that for a little more balance um, or a little, uh, little more stability to, so that we can work on our balance. So what we're gonna do is three different moves. We're gonna work our balance sideways, forwards, and backwards. All right, so we're gonna start with sideways, holding that um, Festivus pole or your chair in one hand. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna tip towards that stabilizing hand. So you're gonna tip your, your head and your shoulders and your trunk. So it's a sideways lean towards that stabilizing hand. Good. And this may be enough of a balance challenge, but if it's not, I want you to try lifting that opposite leg off the ground as you tip. So if you're tipping to the right, you're lifting that left foot off the floor. So where you're challenging your balance, both laterally and in single leg stance. Good. And because we're getting head movements in here, we're challenging your vestibular system as well. Nicely done, you guys. Looks good. We are going to do five more on this side and then we'll switch. So we've got five more, four more, three more, two more, and last time. Nice job, you guys, well done. So let's switch to the other side, Festivus pole in the other hand, and start with just tipping towards that stabilizing hand. So a good lateral lean, try not to tip forward. Try to let your shoulders and your head go towards that stabilizing hand. Once you've gotten the hang of this, Start lifting that opposite leg off the ground. Opposite leg. So it really does become a balance challenge once you're standing on one foot and you're leaning and you've got head movements. So we're incorporating a lot of different aspects of balance into this one exercise. You guys look great. Good. Nice job. If you feel any dizziness with this, just stop, take a break, let the world settle back down again, and then join back in. We're gonna do five more. Five, good. Four, good. Three, two, and last one. Nice job, you guys. All right, so we're finished with sideways movements. Now we're gonna switch to forward movements. So what we're gonna start off with is just a big heel tap in front. And I'm sorry, you can't see my feet super well, but I'm tapping my heel out in front. 
tapping that heel out in front. So you're going to want to start with the foot that's opposite of your stabilizing hand, because once you get the hang of this heel tap, we're going to add a big reach forward towards your toes and then stand up nice and tall. So with that heel tap, add a big reach for your toes. Good. And then stand up tall. So we're challenging your balance with a forward lean and reach, which is something we do in real life. So again, we might as well be exercising the way we move in real life. Good. You guys look amazing. Nicely done. Good. We've got five more on this side. Five. Good. Try make sure you're touching the floor in front of you with your heel. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, we're switching to the other side. And you guys may have noticed we got a little bonus hamstring stretch in there as well. So lots of, lots of benefits to this exercise. All right, on the other side, just start with those heel taps out in front first. Just kind of getting used to that motion. Let's do two more, and then we're gonna add the arms to it. All right, next repetition, start adding that lean and that reach, and then standing up tall. And then now that you've got the hang of this exercise, I want you to really think about finishing tall. So don't cheat yourself out of that little extra moment right there at the end where you get to stand up as tall as possible. Even if you spend most of the day with a little forward bend in your trunk and your shoulders, right there at the end of this exercise, that's where you're gonna fix all that and get up as tall as you possibly can. Nicely done, you guys. You look amazing. Good, we got five more here. Good, four more. Good, three more. Two more, last one. Woo! So we've done sideways balance, forwards balance, and now of course we're gonna do backwards balance. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just a step backwards and then come back to the starting point. Okay, so just a step behind you and then back to the starting point. Good, let's do two more practice steps just to make sure you've got your balance. If this is enough, you can stay here. But if you need more of a challenge, as you step backwards, I want you to look back behind you as you step back. So you're gonna step back and you're gonna turn and look back. Good, step back, turn and look back. So if you were thinking about it, it's almost like you were turning to back the car out of the driveway. So step back, turn and look back. So again, with all of these movements, we've incorporated head movements, which really um, challenges your vestibular system and gets you ready to move safely throughout your day. Because when, as you go throughout your day, you move your head and we want you to be able to keep your balance with those movements. Good, we're gonna do four more here. Good, that was four, three more. Good, two more. And last time to this side. Beautiful, all right. Switch that festive pole. And let's start with just those backward steps on the other side, kind of get used to that movement, make sure you're steady. And then once you're ready, we're gonna add those head and shoulder turns, looking backwards as you step backwards. Nice job, nice job. It really is amazing. How it changes the dynamic of a movement to add the head movements to it. But really important um, to being able to move successfully throughout your day. And so I think this is a really important and practical thing to add to our exercise routine. All right, you guys, looking good. Let's do five more here and then we'll be done. Good, four more. Beautiful, three more, good, two more, 
and we're done. You're done. Terrific. Done. Balance. Done. And now I'm going to turn it over to Madeline and we're going to finish with some miraculous coordination exercises. That was so good. Awesome. Everyone's doing so well. Okay, we're going to do like Trisha said, some miraculous coordination exercises. And I thought we'd start with a little Irish jig. So we're going to do so simply. I want you to put your heel out and then together, heel out and together. Then we're going to go heel, cross the toe, go out and together. Okay? So heel together, other side, heel, other side, heel, cross the toe, and heel, together. Here we go. Heel, and together, and heel, other side. This is heel, this is cross the toe, this is heel, and together, other side, heel, together, and heel, together, and heel. Cross the toe and heel together. You can add the arms like so. Out, together, out, bring it to the shoulders, out and cross, out and together, out and shoulders, out and shoulders, out and cross, and out and shoulders. You can do just the feet if you want, or you can do just the arms. Heel and together and heel, cross the toe and out and together and heel and together. Trish is doing it without the arms. Together, heel and a toe and a heel and together. Let's do it a little quicker. Here we go. Heel to Together and heel together, other side. Heel, cross the toe. Heel and out. Heel and together and heel. Together and heel, cross the toe. Heel and together again. Heel and together and heel and together. Heel, cross the toe and out. Heel and heel and heel, cross the toe, and heel. Awesome! Okay, I'm gonna show you one more. This is a great exercise coming up that you can do even if you are sitting down in your easy chair, okay? Think same, same, opposite, opposite. Same meaning, same arm as leg, same arm as leg, and then opposite, opposite arm from leg, okay? We start real slow, and then we pick it up. And this is maybe something to keep as a little bit of homework, okay? So here we go. So you're gonna go same arm as leg, either on the ground or just off the floor. It's great for balance too. Now lift same arm as leg. Leg just goes straight out in front of you. Good. Now do opposite, opposite arm as leg. And change, opposite arm as leg. All right, same and same. Now opposite, opposite arm is leg and opposite arm is leg. Great for your balance as well after all that work we just did with Trisha. Here we go, same and same. Now opposite, opposite arm is leg and opposite arm is leg. Again, same and same. Now opposite <laughs> and opposite. All right, a little faster. Here we go. Same and same and opposite and opposite and same and same 
and opposite, opposite, and same, and same, opposite, and opposite, and same, same, opposite, opposite, same, and same, opposite, and opposite, and same, and same, and opposite, and opposite, and same, same, opposite, opposite, same, same, uh-oh. <laughs> Very good. So keep that one in mind for those kinds of activities. Very, very good. There's just one more thing I want you all to do. All right. We're going to step uh, in, go side and back and side and forward. You're just going to make a box on the floor with two, with step together, okay? So step to the side, then step to your back, step to the other side, and step forward. Nice, big steps for me. Step, big step, bring the feet in. Big step back, big step side, and big step forward. Good, step, big step side, Big step back and bring the feet together. Make sure you're balanced. Big step side and bring forward. And big step side and big step back. Big step side and big step forward. And big step side and big step back. And big step side and big step forward. Good, let's go the other way just a couple times just to make sure we're all worked out. All right. We're almost done, almost there to cool down everyone. Big step side, big step back, big step side, big step forward. Remember, big and loud, side, big step back, big step side, big step forward. Again, big step side, big step back, big step side, big step forward. And big step side, big step back, big step side, and big step forward. Woo! Woo! Miracle, miraculous, awesome, guys. We're up to 140, so we'll do a nice couple minute cool down. Back to Trisha. Thanks. All right, you guys, absolutely excellent work today. Let's just take a couple minutes to do some stretching, and then you guys will be done. All right. So let's start with a deep breath in, arms go way up over your head, and then breathe out. Good, let's do that two more times. Deep breath in, arms go way up over your head, and then breathe out. And we're gonna do one more on this last one. Deep breath in, I want you to hold your arm up over your head, reach and stretch, try to get as close to the ceiling as you can, grow as tall as you can, good, hold that. Three, two, one, and then breathe out. Good. All right, let's take one arm and reach way over your head. Going, kind of going back to those lateral leans that we did in the balance section, but now just holding it for a nice stretch. Good. And then we're going to switch and go to the other side. Good. All right, Whew. we did a lot of good shoulder work today. So let's do some nice, big, slow, backward shoulder rolls. Just working out those muscles that we um, really wore down during that, those feats of strength. Good, big backward shoulder rolls. Good, let's do three more. Three, two, and one, good. And let's not forget about our wrist. I want you to bring your hands up in front and make some nice big circles with your wrists. Good, and then go the other direction. Beautiful. Good, two more here, one and then two. Good, now hands on your hips and I just want you to turn and try to look behind you. 
getting some nice rotation through your spine. Again, stretching out what we worked during those balance exercises. And then let's come back to the middle and then we're gonna go the other direction. Nice big turn with your head and shoulders. Hold it there at the end. Feel that nice gentle stretch through your spine. Good. And then come back to the middle. Grab that Festivus pole one more time. Heel out in front of you. Sorry, I know you can't see my heels real well. It's a nice straight leg. Heel in front, toes pointed up and do a reach down. We're gonna stretch out those hamstrings. Again, we did this actively during the balance exercises. And now we're gonna stretch out those hamstrings statically. Good. All right, standing up tall. Let's switch to the other side. Toes up off the floor, leg as straight as you can get it. Big reach and stretch. Perfect. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Nice job. Standing up tall, keep that festivus pole if you can. I just want you to alternate tapping your heel and toe on the floor. We'll just do a little active stretch of your ankle. Tapping that heel and toe, alternating on the floor, trying to go through your full range of motion with those taps. Good. Feel that nice active stretch through, through your heel and through your ankle. All right, good. And then let's switch to the other side. Couple on this side and then you guys will be done. Nice job and thank you. We're so excited. Madeline, I really enjoyed um, the Festivus celebration with you guys. And we appreciate the opportunity to be with you this afternoon. All right, we're done. <clears throat> thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Madeline and Trisha, for that fun and very festive workout. Uh, as we wrap up, please be sure to complete the survey that will pop up on your screen as the Zoom session ends. Your feedback helps us improve our programs. And please don't forget to register for our 2023 Fitness Friday series. Uh, you can do so by clicking on the link that we're going to put in the chat. Uh, you can uh, register for our January live class, which will um, ensure that you get all the email reminders each month um, and therefore won't miss a live session. On behalf of the Parkinson's Foundation, I'd like to wish you and your families a happy and healthy holiday season. We will see you back here on January 20th for another live Fitness Friday. Thanks, everyone.